Hey everyone, Randy here, back for another Pokemon Auras Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a UU match against Just Weavile. He's uh, another Poketuber around our side. He does uh, go to league content and Pokemon battles and such on his channel. So, you know, he's asking around for a, a UU battle on uh, Demonic's channel, another YouTuber, and I asked, hey, you know, let me get a battle too. So I might battle him afterwards, I'm not sure yet. But uh, UU team, just a pretty fun standard team. Choice Scarf, Infernape. Uh, we have a Modest, Blastoise, Spinner, Max, max Attack though, so it's very solid. Sylveon Choice Specs, very little switch-ins. Metagross, Chukaberry, Adamant Nature with Stealth Rocks, Offensive Rocks pretty much. Uh, Bandit, Crocodile, pretty standard with Pursuit, nice Trapper, and then I have a Celebi Offensive, so pretty hyper-offensive team here, pretty cool team actually, it doesn't work, so. Let's see if we can pick up, I'll pick up a win with this team. I'm not sure where this team is from, I know it's not my team. I got it from somebody, I just can't remember. I just cannot remember, so let's just see what happens here. Jump right into it. Again, I don't know exactly where I got it from, but if I remember, I'll put it in the description. Uh, I know, I think it's actually a mixture of teams that I built together as well. I don't know. But anyway, let's just uh, do it here. Alright. Never battled him before, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, he does leak content and stuff like that. I'll have his channel in the description below, as well as his Twitter, if you guys want to check him out. You know, if he 6 me, then you guys can check out his other content. But uh, I don't feel like getting 6-0 today. I was doing some showdown lives. I just don't have any luck today. So it's been a struggle. Hopefully today on 3DS isn't so bad. So we'll see what happens here. Make sure he didn't reply to me or something like that. Alright. We'll see what happens here. Probably picking his music or something like that. I'm not sure what he's doing. Jack. I wish I put my name as Randy. I don't know why I put Hippohawk. It doesn't make sense because we're not one person so anyway i'll change that for sun and moon though definitely all right so he's just making battle preparations it's all good man i mean at this point if you're not ready then i don't know but i'm pretty sure you can put on items at this point in the game at this point like i'm pretty sure i'm not sure though i don't know we'll see here i don't know i just uh you know, guys, I'll pause it and I'll come back once the... Uh, no, I can't pause it because then I mess up the recording. I mess up the recording if I do it. Because I have a separate sound thing going on as well. So, we'll just wait here. Not a big deal. Not a huge deal. Hopefully he doesn't... Uh, I don't know. We're not frozen. I'll tell you that one. We're not frozen. I'll tell you that right now. Yikes. Take a little longer than I would have liked. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Sometimes... Uh, stuff happens uh, okay and you got my handy dandy calculator open over here in the tab my damage calculator so it's a nice scheme hyper offensive Sylveon's really nice on offense for you because there's very little switch into a specs hyper voice stuff like tenor cruel metagross assault vest the only switch ins uh, there's there's more than that obviously like defensive rotom heats are as well uh, even like standard Rotom Heats are pretty good against it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's just, I, I really like Sylveon and the damage it puts in, so. Spec Sylveon does work. It's timid nature, so it outspeeds modest nature specs uh, Sylveon, so. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to reply to him right now. I'm going to tweet him real quick, because I don't know what's going on. Sorry, it's very unprofessional. But, uh. Oh, never mind, never mind. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. My fault, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what that was, but... He has two switch-ins. He's got three switch-ins. Very nice, very nice. So, Sylveon isn't doing much right now. Looking at it. I mean, it destroys the left side of the screen. But the right side of the screen eats it up. So, I gotta make sure I preserve it. He's probably gonna lead Nido Queen or his... Uh... He's, got, he's got three potential leads. Scarf Heracross is kind of an issue, though. Especially with offense. Gotta save Infernape, definitely. Infernape does, like, decimate half his team. Uh, I think Blastoise is pretty solid. I'm not sure if he would lead Rotom Heat. If he does, so be it. But, I mean, like, I don't know why he would. I feel like he is gonna, though. I can never get leads correctly. 
can never get leads correctly. But yeah, Sylveon easily just gets like bodied. He's got three switch ins. I mean, it's not like they would appre wouldn't appreciate it. I mean, it's a Specs Hyper Voice pixelated, so you know, it's not like it's gonna do like ten percent. It's gonna do a good twenty to thirty percent each time they come in. So, well, at least to Rotom Heat and maybe Needle Queen, but not this is not Empoleon. Empoleon's gonna eat that up. So, I gotta watch out definitely for a sweeper. His left side of his screen is definitely more scary than his right side. So, we'll see what happens here. Oh no. I forgot to take a picture of his team, I think. Yep. I forgot to take a picture. I remember I remember what it is right now though. Let me open up the notes here. I need a note just to remember before I before I, before I forget. Uh, not notepad. Sticky note. Alright, I'm gonna write it down before I forget. I can't forget, because then I'll lose the game. Okay, let's just write this down here. We've got Noivern. I probably should say that for last. Queen. Sharpedo. Uh, he's got a, uh, what's oh, it, Heracross. He's got a Rotom Heat. And a Empoleon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Alright. So, I don't have Ice Beam. I don't have Ice Beam. He might just Draco right here, though. I'm not sure if he would do that, though. I mean, looking at my team, what I have here. Uh, Blastoise actually does some work against his team, so he might just Draco here. I doubt it, though. Ice Beam, he would go into his Empoleon for sure. I think Dark Pulse is pretty safe. Skull is pretty safe at the same time, though. But he doesn't have to play very risky here. He can just go into his Empoleon. So I will just Skull. I don't want to take a Draco, but he does stay in, though. He might just U-turn. U-turn's pretty nice. Hopefully he U-turns. That would be nice. But, if he U-turns, he knows I'm going to stay in, so he won't leave Empoleon. He does U-turns, so thank goodness. I thought I was going to get Draco turn 1, but with Sylveon, I don't think he would have risked it, so. We do see his life orbs, so that's good to know. He's not Specs or anything like that, which actually would probably would have been better for me, but. I think knowing that I stayed in, he thinks I have uh, Ice Beam. I mean, Empoleon's a switch no matter what, though. It's not like Aura would do a, a crap ton. Uh, he might just go into not Rotom Heat. It's impossible. I wouldn't do it. Unless he's adamant on the fact I go for uh, Ice Beam. And pulling on to nice. I want to calc an Aura Sphere here. I don't think it would kill, but I want to see. If I burn, it might. Okay, let me calc this. I am max special attack. Modest nature. I'm going to calc for the obviously the bulkiest one I can. Yeah, that is nothing. But it's not like he can do a lot to me, though. He gets up rocks, and he already toxics. So, I'm not sure if I would... I don't mind a Toxic. I'm not sure if I do... Let me calc an Offensive one. I'm pretty sure Offensive would kill. There's a slight chance he can. I'm going for it. I'm going... I want to injure this thing. Because this is this is one of the Sylveon switch-ins. He's in double out. Just scouting for it, I'm assuming. The Aura Sphere. Pretty, so, pretty solid play on his part. I mean, it's going to hurt, though. It's going to hurt. This is essentially a stab Aura Sphere. Essentially. Yeah. Okay, so he's probably Scarf looking at that damage. He's probably Scarf looking at that damage. Uh, I don't have the best of switch-ins. I don't have the best of switch-ins for this thing. He's going to Volt Switch. He's going to get momentum no matter what. I doubt he overheats. He might Willow, but I don't think it's really his play. Um, in theory, Cam is the best play. But I don't take a bolt switch. I'm not sure necessarily he was scouting for it. Or he was anticipating like a double. But I think he was just scouting for it. I think. Um, Crook is too obvious. I can't go into Crook. Celebi, of course, overheat just decimates. Metagross overheat decimates. Bolt switch, Cam doesn't appreciate it. And then, uh. He has no priority on his team, though. So I feel like I can risk Cam. But Sylveon doesn't have very many, uh, doesn't have the greatest of role in this in this game here. So I think I'll just go Sylveon, simply because he has a lot of switch ins for it. So I'll just go Sylveon. If he chooses to overheat, so be it. He does Volt Switch though, so that's again best play for me though. Sure, he goes into his Empoleon, but that's not a big deal. Nido Queen's probably coming in though, just to get some damage off to kill me pretty much. 
I mean, he doesn't necessarily know I'm Specs yet. But uh, if he knows his Calx, he knows I'm not uh, defensive at all. Yeah, there's there's uh, Nido Queen. Okay. Gonna outspeed me 100%. I don't have much for this beast. This is the bad thing on offense. I don't have great switch ins. I'm just gonna stay in here. I mean, I know how obvious High Shock is. Now, if he's not running any speed, I cannot speed this, but I'm sure he's running lots and lots of speed. Oh, nice. This might kill. This is Specs High Shock. Oh, I didn't think it would kill, though. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. I get the damage off. It's pretty nice. Pretty solid. Again, I do lose my, my Sylveon, but like I said, it wasn't doing much this game anyway. So, uh, I'm pretty much forced to go into Blastoise because I know I outspeed everything on this team. Not everything, but I outspeed this if Sylveon outsped. Hmm. The thing is, if I go into this, he's going to sack it no matter what, though. That's the thing. And then he just goes into Rotom and gets momentum again. I think Celebi is probably the better play here. Um... He, he, he likes momentum, I can tell that right now. He has it, too. He has it. So, uh... I'm trying to make the best play here. I think going into Crook and going knockoff is the best play for me. He goes, he goes to Torpedo afterwards. Do I have Bullet Punch on Metacross? I do, but I don't think it kills. See, this is unfortunate, because he gets momentum no matter what. He gets momentum no matter what I do. This is unfortunate. I don't know what to do. Blastoise is definitely my win condition, I think. But I think I have to just go into it anyway. Yeah, let's go Blastoise. No, I don't think it's necessarily a win con, because the biggest threats that this thing deals with is Needle Queen and the Rotom Heat. So it's not a huge deal. I can just go for Scald here with no risk whatsoever. No rocks for him. He actually outspeeds. I thought, I thought it would outspeed. It's Blastoise is slower than I thought. Okay, so I guess I didn't do that right. My fault. That sucks though, because now the Blastoise is guaranteed to die pretty much. Because he doesn't outspeed anything else except Empoleon. I'm just trying not to lose to Heracross at this point. Which I don't think I can right now, because I have my switch ins. Or I have Infernate pretty much. Infernate is my only win condition here. Once I get rid of Noivern. Yeah, once I get rid of Noivern, it's pretty much ball game. This is Charpedo is a threat too. Just because it's speed boost and such. And it's mega, obviously. I'm so used to looking at my phone for the for the picture of his team. But I have it on the note. I prefer the picture though, because I can see like a you know the picture just is more visual. Uh, I'm not sure what he goes into here. I think Rotom Heat is play, as always. As he goes hair across here. If he's very smart, he wants that Moxie boost. And honestly, I think I have to give it to him. The thing is, like... Infernape can't Oko this thing, I don't think. Because my Heracross has got some natural bulk. No, for Foyblitz definitely Oko's this thing. Okay. Now, the thing is, if I go... He doesn't have to switch into Foyblitz anyway. So yeah, I'll just go for Skull and hope he misses. That's fine. Okay, I have, I have my switch in. And he doesn't have a switch into Flare Blitz, so that's fine. He's got Noivern, but I mean, like, he's not going to appreciate it. I have to go Cam here. He, he's Scarf. I'm Scarf as well, so it's not a huge deal. He might think I'm Sash, just the way I brought it in. But I'm going Flare Blitz. I can't risk this thing doing anything else to me. He's going to withdraw here. Okay. Monotone, which is probably the Noivern. That's Noivern. That's right. Toy Scarf. That's not a big deal. He knows I'm Scarf anyway. That's why I brought it in. We should do a decent chunk. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Again, this is my win con. Charpedo and Heracross are just threats. He's gonna e turn here, 100%. And I don't have a switch in. I have Metagross. That's it. Uh. I think I have to go Metagross, though. I mean, he's got a U-turn. That's his play to make. 
Like he has no reason not to go for it. If you guys, if he decides to Draco, so be it, man. That's just not that's just not the play to make. He does Hurricane though. That wasn't the play to make. Okay, but that's fine though. Because what I can do is get up rocks now. He's got a fire move, which is fine, but I should be able to eat that up. Life four flamethrower, I should be able to eat that up and go for a bullet punch here. I think getting up rocks is important. Getting up rocks is very important. He does U-turn here, so that's nice. Uh The bad thing is Sharpedo comes in now. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. I hope he goes hair across here. He goes like, thank goodness. Okay. Thank goodness. Because that would have been, been very problematic. Because then he can get up two speed boosts and win the game. Napoleon. So we're both running kind of offensive teams. I think I have to go Celebi right here. Because I like having that priority. He's going to go for Rocks or Stealth Rock anyway. I mean, or, uh, you know, Skull anyway. So I think Celebi is just a play to make right here. I have a feeling he's offensive, though. Like, I have the feeling. So he might have Ice Beam or even Flash Cannon. He does Defog, which isn't a huge deal. Um, isn't a huge, huge deal. I suppose he can go into his, uh, Noivern or something like that. I kind of want a Psychic here. Let's just Psychic. If he stays in, so be it. So be it, but I'm going for Psychic. I mean, I don't necessarily need Celebi here. Now, if you go Sharpedo, that's going to suck. If you go Sharpedo, I think I lose the game. I should have thought about that a little bit more. I think Nasty Plot was always a play to make. He's probably... Okay, so he does stay in. Kind of a bad play on my part. I didn't necessarily need to predict that. He probably has Ice Beam looking at this now. Yeah, that's fine though. That does absolutely nothing though, so he's not very offensive. Okay. I want to Giga Drain now, but if he goes Noivern, it's going to suck. I can't Earth Power because of Noivern, but I think I have to Earth Power. I think I have to Earth Power here. Yeah, let's just go for it. It's not like I'm going to do a butt ton anyway. Now, if we switch it out now, that would suck. Torpedo and Cross would do a lot of damage to me. Okay, so I got injured this thing a bit for her for uh, Infernate pretty much. That does a very good chunk. He can't heal anyway, so. And I don't need this mon. It's weird to think he has two Scarfers though. It's weird to think that, but he probably has it. And just to be safe, I think I have to get Giga Drain right here. Oh, I think Psychic's actually a better play, but let's just go Giga Drain. If he goes Noivern, so be it. I mean, Heracross might come in. That's fine. I should have sidekicked there. But Giga Dream is always a play to make, though. Just nothing at all. Um, Crook eats any shot from this thing. I still have Celebi. I mean, Hurricane didn't drop my ass, though, so. All right. Yeah, Metagross walls it, of course. I'll just go for a sidekick, and I'll chance he misses. But he's going to U-turn, though. U-turn kills me. If he doesn't U-turn, then he's going to he's very crazy. I still think Infernape can win this game. With, uh with a close count or flare blitz I think Sharpedo's a bit a bit of an issue I'm not sure what he goes into right here hmm very tough very very tough go Sharpedo Kasame I outspeed him after a speed boost like I do 
Like, I'm going to ape right here. I outspeed him after a speed boost. Unless he's running, not even Jolly outspeeds me, so he's gonna have to go for two. And Flare Blitz is always my. Well, oh, don't close around that way. I protect. Again, he doesn't outspeed after one. Now, I'm not sure if he thinks he does. Now, if he gets the double, then I'm screwed. Unless he's running non mega with a sash. If you get the double, I lose 5 0. If you get the double, I lose 5 0. Then I'm gonna draw here. Probably into his. Hercule. Oh no. That is a good chunk though. He can't Mega Horn though, if that's the thing. Well, he actually could probably. Um. I'm going to Metagross anyway. He probably has Earthquake, but I have Sugar Bear. I could take one. I think I lose a Sharpedo, though, in Heracross. He had too many entries for Sylveon. I should have brought something else. It was close combat, though. Yeah, that's his play to make. I do live a little bit so I can get a Bullet Punch off, which is nice. If I get Bullet Punch off here, I think I put everything in range of uh, close combat. Norman was at like. I think everything is in, in range of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think everything's in range. Everything's in range of close combat. He might have Jet on Sharpedo. I have to go AP and go for the win. I have to go AP and go for the win. If he has Jet, so be it. If he has Jet, so be it. But I think I win the game here. All of his mons are in range of close combat. It's going to come down to, can he get a double with Sharpedo? And he might get it too. Just like, I just feel like he will get it too. I feel like he can, but he's, he's got to rely on it. Like it's going to have to come down to that. I'm not sure if he's going to go for it immediately or he's going to save it for last. If he has jet, which I don't, they don't really run jet. There's no need to run jet because you get the speed. Usually it's waterfall crunch slash maybe ice fang or maybe ice beam. Sometimes you'd like to run ice beam, but if all goes right, I should win with Infernape right here because Noivern is in range of close combat. I believe because close combat does good total of 32 to 38 percent level 100 so level 50 it'll be even even more it's actually 33 to 39 so the roll's a bit crazier but i should win here unless he has priority the thing is i have to risk noivern because if i switch out into my uh, uh crocodile then Sharpedo comes in and gets the risk of another speed, a boost. So I have to stay in here. So I can't, I don't have, I don't have any other play. I don't have any other play. It's just going to come down to, uh, you know, Sharpedo speed boost and maybe Noivern living on a roll, which I don't think it does. See, if I had Psychic with Celebi on the last play, I would have won the game, I think. But I'm pretty sure he's in range. Pretty sure he's in range. Worst case scenario, if I knock out Sharpedo first, and then he goes Noivern or something like that, I think I win anyway. I think he has to go for the double here. Yeah, here it is. He has to go for the double. Oh man, 50%. Come on, RNG has not been on my side today, but let's uh, let's hope I can do it here. Come on, I have four close combats. 
Come on. Come on, Cam. Come on, you're a prime member of the Texas Rangers. Back when we did MLP battles. But those aren't a thing anymore because it ended. I lose if I don't get this. Come on. No double protect. Whoa, hold on. Thought. Thought. What he can do here is stall out my close combats. But I think he's going for the double. Because <sighs> he can stall him out if he switches out and keeps protecting and sacking something. Like, sack Rotom here. That could be something. But, uh... Like, going on a Rotom isn't a bad play right here. It really isn't. I'm not sure what he's thinking about right here. He might go into Rotom. There's no way he goes into uh, Noivern, because that's the only mod I can live in close combat, potentially. If he doubles, if he gets the double here, I'm going to scream, dude. That, that's the game if he, if he gets the double. So, I'm not sure if he thinks that's what he has to do. So smart play on his part. If you can stall out the close combats. Ooh, he goes into monotone now. Does first choice scarf? He already knows that. He does kill. So I have three left, I believe. No, I might have two now actually, looking at that. I have three left. The thing is, I only need close combat for Sharpedo. So if he protects here, I'm down to two. I, he goes road on my kill it. I'm down to one. He protects again. The thing is, Crook can take a Waterfall if I get Intimidate on Because I do have Intimidate on Crook. I do have Intimidate on Crook. But going close combat is a play right now, though. Always a play. The thing is, like, it's going to be a Waterfall flinch, though, if he goes into that. So I think what I have to do here, I think what I have to do is go close combat, kill his Rotom, or whatever he switches down to, which is probably going to be Empoleon, to be honest. I mean, uh, Rotom Heat, probably. Kill that. He goes back into this, and on his Protect, I'm going to have to go into Crook, because I can Intimidate off on him, leaving me out of range of a Waterfall. And that's my plan. Now, if he switches out predicting that, that's a nice plan on his part. But either way, it's a close battle here. Very nice, though. He's trying not to rely on RNG so much. Which is respectable. But it's going to come down to that anyway if he gets a, a flinch on me. Which is going to suck. Now, if he goes Waterfall here, he's a legend. He deserves to win. But he can't do that because he doesn't outspeed. Nice. So, comes down to a protect. It comes down to a flinch. I hate for that to happen, but that's what it comes down to. Quake should kill. It's banded. I hate for it to come down to that. But unfortunately, it's, unfortunately that's what it comes down to. I should have went superpower, but Earthquake was a better play. Earthquake kills is banded. No, no, de no defense whatsoever. <sighs> Just don't flinch me. It won't kill me. It won't kill. What he could do is probably sack and pulley on here. Finally, he has to go off the flinch, and if he gets it, that's game. Cause let me calc this. Let me calc this. I want to be, be sure. I know I live one. That's a fact. Goes for two just to be sure.
Yeah, it does 68 to 81 percent. It's gonna come down to a flinch. I hate for that to be the case, but that's what happens. All right, crook, a crit or a flinch. Let's hope for this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't live this at all. Come on, come on, crocodile. Come on, you got this. You got this. You got this. Yes, there you go, crook. You don't fail, man. You don't fail. Ooh. My chest. That's game. He made us that series of that sequence of plays at the end there. Very smart. Very sophisticated. I don't think anyone else would have done that. But either way, no matter who the winner was, it would have came down to RNG though. Because if he had flinched me, I would have lost. If he had got the double protect off, he would have lost. I mean I would have lost. But again, it comes back to this being getting flinched, but good. Game to you, Just Revile. I was channel down below. That was intense, guys. That was intense. One of the better battles I've had recently. You know. It's just, it was a good game. I made some mistakes. That kind of, that could have saved me earlier, but... At the end of the day, it was up to Cam to make up the win. So, Cam coming in. But yeah, I think the game to you, Just Revile. Again, guys, check out his channel. Support your fellow PokeTuber. Yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all next time. My chest. Let me take some medicine, guys. But, uh, yeah, guys, check out the channel, and, uh, very good battle. I'll catch y'all next time. Go Kooks. Take care.